In order to configure Glazer to work with a Vive tracker, we need to turn off one of the controllers. You can turn off the right or the left controller. I'm going to turn off my left. And now I'm going to turn on the Vive tracker. There is my Vive tracker. My motion controller still shows that it's my right hand. I'm going to go ahead and open the menu for Steam. Now, if I go to Settings, and you want to go to Manage Vive Trackers, you'll have one or more devices that show up here. I'm going to select my connected Vive Tracker device. I want to make sure that it's set to held in hand and that it's set to any hand. I'm going to go back. Now I'm going to go to controller binding and select Clazer. Going to select current controller and set that to the Vive tracker in hand. Make sure it says default bindings for legacy applications for rotated Vive trackers in hand. You want that to be your current binding. I'm going to go now into Steam and go ahead and go into Clazer. Inside Clazer, we now need to select the method of input we'd like to use. For this demo, I'm going to use the VR gun controller. With either hand, just reach into the sphere and pull the trigger, or if using the Vive tracker, click the button. The shotgun will now automatically attach to the Vive tracker down at the end of the barrel, which is the proper calibration for the VR gun controller. 